You know, this whole process has been really fun for me uh, over the last six or seven months of just sort of reintroducing myself to some of the accomplishments that um, I had um, and that I've been able to sort of learn more about the athletes and the coaches, the referees and the administrators that are part of this induction class. And it just sort of opens your eyes to all the different things and uh, how much has to go on in this industry, in this space to make the world of high school sports move forward and um, trying to engage my son Santiago who's sitting over there and he's watching the video. He goes, Dad, wow, he's like, you did all those things. He goes, that was such a bad haircut. <laughs> well, son, that was cool at the time. I promise you. I promise you that was cool at the time. And, you know, being around the last couple of days and going up and down elevators and trying to get up on the right floor, get my key out in time to make sure the doors don't shut on me or I don't go to the 19th floor when I'm supposed to get to the 15th floor. And just listening to everybody talk about their respective tasks and what they're here to try and accomplish, to learn, to connect, to communicate, just tells me how much each and every one of you care deeply about what you're doing and how much it matters to you. And I know that in many senses, the athletes, the Olympians um, with gold medals and Super Bowl rings, national championships and Hall of Fame inductions get a lot of the recognition and the headlines in the papers. But, you know, we stand on your shoulders. We stand on your efforts, on the work that you put in on a day to day basis. And, you know, walking through the lobby and I, I overheard somebody talking about schedules uh, for the fall and games and tournament brackets. I'm like, man, we're already getting there. Jeez, like enjoy the summer a little bit. <laughs> um, but as you know, the work never stops and it's for good reason. You know, the, the athletes are the ones that get a chance to go out there and run on the field and uh, hit a golf ball or step on the court. Um, but there'd be no court or field or course to step on without you. And we wouldn't have anybody to play against if it wasn't for you to schedule those games and for the officials to show up and make sure that fair play was the foremost thing that we were looking at in terms of trying to enrich and endear our kids um, with the right principles of sports. And I think that a lot of times gets lost in, in sports as we progress through the different levels and the different eras um, of our respective accomplishments. Um, the group of athletes gets smaller as you get to each level. You have a lot of your buddies in mid-school and we lose some of them in high school and then we lose some of them in college and then it's just the, the last few standing that are able to sort of uh, achieve and have an opportunity to play at those highest levels. But what I really appreciate and still to this day appreciate, especially having seen sports gone in a variety of different directions um, over the last five or six years, is just the purity of the high school game and how pure it is and how an athlete can show up with very little experience as a, as a freshman, um, but an interest and a love for whatever it is that particular activity may be and be able to be coached, be able to be developed, be able to be guided, not just on the field, but also in the classroom. Um, and I, I just think that that's a wonderful gift that each and every one of us as athletes um, has experienced in our lives and you know we all had a chance to go and achieve some wonderful educations at different universities myself at Stanford and I wouldn't have been able to do that without of course my soccer coach who tutored me but also anyone and everyone that put the time and effort into my life you know my parents my two sisters my wife um, are sitting at this table and who have been just paramount supporters of me throughout our life and um, I think that as, as an athlete, you have to be so selfish and focused in order to do your sport. Um, and as I got away from my athletics and I segued into television, I, I had to grow up. I had to learn how to um, not be so selfish and be a parent and be a husband and a friend. And those are all things that I knew how to do because I had great guides and mentors um, in high school. And those are the times that I look back. Um, and my high school friends are still my best friends in the world. 
and they still treat me the same way. So I left um, professional golf, got into television, and was doing a number of the first shows um, on a show that we have on, on NBC Sports and Golf Channel called Live From. You, you're in a nice suit and a tie, you're on the desk talking about golf. And I did the show, went home back to Albuquerque, was sitting around at dinner one night with some of my high school friends. They're like, wow, you look, you look about, you look, you look fatter on TV. <laughs> And I go, well, guy, guys, you know, and I was getting defensive. These are my high school buddies, right? I'm getting defensive. And I said, well, you know the camera adds 10 pounds. And they go, well, how many were on you? <laughs> so when you want to keep it real, you always go back to your high school friends. <laughs> Because that's where everything is pure, and in a lot of cases, for good or for bad, high school is forever. But every single one of you out there is doing something that matters. And it could be life or death for some kids, and it could be the difference between getting an education and not getting an education. So don't ever for one second think that you're not making a contribution to a young person's life, because Every single one of us athletes that went on, and you heard it in Walter Payton's Hall of Fame speech, he was acknowledging and recognizing coaches that had an influence on him at the high school level. It makes an impact. And um, I'm, I'm standing up here on the shoulders of hardworking, caring, dedicated people like yourselves. And on behalf of myself and this induction class and all the athletes that came before me and those that will come after, I just want to say thank you.